I'm Vince Rigoli. I'm a owner of uh, v and &E Rigoli Performance Racing, and today we're going to do some oil testing. That's my drag car. That's, uh, it runs a Fiat engine. It's uh, one of the fastest four cylinder in the country, and it's run um, 8 zero, uh, seconds. That's a, a Toyota Hilux, which is, um, is, runs a 2JZ engine, Toyota, and uh, it's running the 8 second barrier too, so it's a pretty, pretty fast car. We do bolt-on kits, we do turbo kits, we do intercooling, we do European, uh, Japanese, uh, we do the Ford and Holden too, like uh, Australian made cars and um, yeah, we do not only performance but we do like um, your everyday driven car, you know, like your family cars and service. Customers often ask me if oil makes a difference on the performance of the vehicles, so that's what we're actually going to do today, we're going to put them to the test. This is the leading performance oil that we are going to test today. We got um, US made oils, European and also Australian made oils. The oil test we're going to do today is going to be on these two performance vehicles, which uh, this is a Mitsubishi Evolution Lancer EVO 6, which is a four cylinder turbo charge. And that's a GTS HSV 6.2 litre, naturally aspirated. To find out which oil gets the most performance out of these two vehicles today, we're going to use a Dyna Dynamics Dyna, which we're going to put on shootout mode, which will provide consistency. To keep the test fair, we're going to flush the engine oil on each vehicle twice. Every bottle we are using are freshly opened. the mobile one test they made uh, 247.2 kilowatts at the rear wheels in between each dyno run we flush the engine twice with the new oil and change the oil filter the Castrol Edge, there was um, 243.7 kilowatts of the rear wheels. Why is there a lower reading? Uh, it could be the grade of the oil or the additives they use. It could be a number of things. Maybe. We've done the same procedure on both, both oils. It could have more friction in the matter, yeah. Maybe the additives that's used in it, it's, um, it's different materials. That was the Moto 8100 test, which you got um, 245.4 kilowatts at the rear wheels.
was the Royal Purple test, which you got uh, 248.8 kilowatts of the rear wheels, which is uh, back the same as the Mobile One, just a little bit, touch, touch more, like a one kilowatt more than the Mobile One. Okay, that was the Nulon test. It made uh, 247.9 kilowatts of the rear wheels. That's the last oil we're gonna try for today on this car. That's the results we got today. As you can see, they're pretty close. Value for money and performance. Nulon is the winner for today.